Tell us something about winning two World Cups, the only team to do it. Yeah, the only team. Um, I'm very happy to be a part of that team to, to, to win two World Cups. Obviously, World Cups is very hard to win. And irrespective of the format. And, um, you know, T20 is also a very tough tournament. And, you know, to win two World Cups um, is special because the first one, no one gave us a chance. Uh, we was in uh, Sri Lanka. But Yes. And uh, when we get there, um, you hear so much media talk and pundits give their opinion who's going to win, who's going to be the top four. And no one mentioned West Indies' name. And, and there's like Chris Gale, Bravo, Russell, Pollard. We are all um, sitting there like, shh, like no one respect us. And then we said, you know what? Guys, we, I think all of us need to really put our heads together and prove to ourselves first that we are the best in the world. And Darren Sammy, our captain, we all buy into it. And we went out there and we won the World Cup. It was uh, the, on my 29th birthday, the final play. Yes. I, yes. I got the last catch. And it was so special. And we all started celebrating. We went crazy dancing, doing all kind of funny things. Uh, because that, that meant so much to us because... People see West Indians as individuals. Like Gail has his own individual brilliance, bravo, and they don't see us as a team. And we wanted to show the world that as much as we are good as individuals, we are good as a team. And we were able to pull that off. And then 2016, again, same things. Um, but what inspired us in 2016 was our board, our cricket board, wasn't in full support of, of, of the team, to be honest. They wanted, you know, we had some senior players and we had some disputes and the normal, typical politics. And, you know, they wasn't really full in support. And funny enough, I remember when we went that in Eden Gardens, the, the president, the cricket board president was there and he couldn't even come and say congratulations to the team because you're so embarrassed, you're so shamed. Um, but to see the entire 80,000 people in Eden Garden dancing to champion and, and the entire stadium and everybody is like, and this song champion has become so mega. I was like, wow, 